Send in your song requests on 9191 on Generation Desi with Iman and Sasha. Alrighty guys and we are back. अब वक्त आया कि हम अपने prestigious जैसे मैंने पहले बोला था prestigious. Uh, we're going to be introducing some phenomenal guests. So Sasha, अब मैं तुम्हें पूरा stage तुम्हारे पास. <laughs> the whole stage is mine. It's not mine actually. It's the guest stage right now. Yes. So we have a really interesting workshop happening uh, on Sunday this mm-hmm. Sunday uh, in Lahore. Alright. And it's called When Life Gives You Lemons. Make lemonade, and uh, that's one of the most interesting phrases I've ever well, heard. Don't question, you think? My question is, can I sell this lemonade afterwards? You can totally sell it for ten uh, rupees a uh, glass. Oh I guess. come on! I'm sure the lemonades <laughs> that the lemons that were hit to you weren't uh. that cheap. I think they were really hard. Uh-huh. So if you were planning to sell them for ten rupees, no. think again. <laughs> think again. All right. Okay. Yeah. No, that was just a joke uh, related to the juice lemonade. But yeah. definitely, we should be introducing our guest, Tanzila Khan. Yes. And Tanzila. Wow. Uh, tell us about this really interesting workshop that you have on Sunday. Well, thank you guys for having me and I think it's always thrilling to be on radio when you yeah. know this entire community listening to you but you yes. can't see them. So you're literally talking to a wall but luckily I have people around me. I know. So but uh-huh. um, since you asked me about my program it's called Lemonade with Anzila Khan and Lemonade of course like you mentioned that when life gives you lemons what yeah. do you do? Yeah. You make lemonade. You know, you know mene ek dhamesha se ek baat notice ki hai ki hum sabko ye baat pata hai aur hum kehte bhi rehte hain but very few of us actually follow it. And we're actually ranting about our problems all the time. Bilkul. We're always complaining, oh. but nobody is really using or understanding those problems. Yeah, कोई lesson हम सीखे. Nobody is really doing that. You know, actually, I want to continue with that. Is कि अगर आप social media पे भी देखते हैं, Twitter पे सारे लोग जो हैं. अस्तकफरुल्लाह. हाँ, ये देखें मैंने Twitter की बात की थी. उनका जवाब क्या मिला? Yeah, you know that's a reality. That's how it is, and I really think that as a citizen of this, uh, not just country but this mm. world, we need to take very tiny initiatives in our own capacity to do something. So right. since um, I am up for it, so we started this program, and I really wanted to target women for the first time because okay. women have those leadership skills that need that really needs to be tapped. I mm-hmm. completely agree. So with that yeah, I mean, come on, they're running a house. I mean, I I would say that uh, people usually don't really count uh, housewives. Kisi bhi khate mein like. I know, exactly. but my mother, mm. she. is actually running this house she's taking care of three crazy every, kids every including my dad person. exactly yeah. Yeah. so Yeah, so we're crazy, and she is leading this house, and without her, her our house would collapse. Would so collapse, hello, yeah. women can't be leaders. Think Na, again. One second, you know what? I would love to add to this. Or yeah, being, 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 being in a, in basically <laughs> being a male in a male dominated yeah. society. I can say that their talk is absolutely right. I am glad that Iman. No, is no, 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 wow, no, men agreeing. Uh, no, I salute That's my right. mom because I'm just like, wo two weeks for three weeks for three weeks. Okay, and mm-hmm. responsibilities fall on us, mm-hmm. right? And it's. And we get to know. Oh my God. मुझे चाय बनाना सिखा दिया लाइक फूड बनाना सिखा दिया बट I just still get lost. I mean, I still yeah. need her leadership. I need Bilkul. her to be to tell me that, boy, what to do. Absolutely. So I think God knew that, and that is why women were created. And we are up for the challenge. We want to facilitate the men in our lives. Of we course. want to be a facilitating body, just like God gave us the responsibility. So I think this workshop, which is called Lemonade with Anzila Khan, it's taking place in three cities of Pakistan: Lahore, right. Karachi, Islamabad. It's more like a tour. Okay. So we're actually going around Pakistan, telling women to go back to the root of why you were made a women you are True. strong inside and out so do not come on the streets asking for something that mm. is not bestowed upon you from the f- from the start uh-huh. you are meant to be very soft but sharp in the mind True. so i think we really need to tap out those skills and i think we're going to do fantastic with our lives well, and of course well, being as a citizen society uh, yeah sorry kachu one question that i do have and i believe all of our listeners mm-hmm. would be thinking about this ye soch rahe honge ke would you categorize this as a feminist program no not at all 
it's because there is a chauvinist him. who's actually supporting you as well that's right <laughs> that's well, why you're uh, saying <laughs> i think, I think you, you know what you know what i would never really call him that and <laughs> I, he likes to call himself that i don't know <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> yeah. but he's always up to support my ideas and Anji. and if you ask him he drops he picks and drops his sister from the university now what is that, that is i think something. if there is a feminist in this room is this guy over here Huh. because he is supporting women in some way of and course. he's here in, in this room way. right now in fact i have so many guys at the office working with me and they're always facilitating me feeding me they're really bringing me food that is so and sweet and they're supporting my idea so i think the concept of being a chauvinist or feminist is too outdated All right. we need to tap in on what kind of individuals what we are what actually matters you know i yeah. mean just giving it labels does not lead us anywhere it just makes divide i'm divine. so against labels you know it's, it's it's all about what kind of a person you are yeah. and i think we need to be good people and if we are good people would exactly know how to treat men and women and mm. and everything would fall into places so i think let's go back to our education and tap into what we learned and stop putting up these labels and just stop following anything what the west is what, putting what, up for us what a great message honestly i really really appreciate that message uh, right now i believe we uh, well you know what we should uh, go into a song right now and then uh, it's going to be a little break but we're going to come back with anjila it's a fantastic discussion by Definitely. the way agar aap logo ne bhi koi input deni hai 9191 is the number to text in uh, if you want to know more about this project and where all it will be happening in the different cities kaun si locations kaun se venues yep. honge yeah. what timings and where they can get the passes etc we yeah. will be discussing that as as well so mm-hmm. keep it locked ready one fm 91 the next track is something that uh, well i play all the time sasha knows mission desi sponsored by there's no better way to fly fly em Hi guys and we are back you tune in to FM 91 the show is called Generation Desi uh mera naam hai Iman aur mere sath co-host hain wo Sasha hain but yes. more importantly we've got some wonderful wonderful guests in the studio with us all right we've got Tanzila and we've got Walid Walid we have Bakar as so, well So basically, uh, all right. So Tanjila, in thirty to twenty, twenty to thirty seconds, tell us. Thirty seconds, please. Huh? Huh? Thirty seconds. Huh? Okay. आप बताएं सही है कि what is this workshop all about? Where is going to be held? Okay, this workshop is going to take place in Lahore, Karachi, Islamabad. Lahore, twenty fourth of July. Islamabad, sixth of. August and uh, Karachi 20th of August and it's for women from the ages of 16 to 27 it's all, right. all about relationships personal grooming and professional skills and uh, we already have got registered girls but we want more people to apply come on ladies you must apply to my workshop it's going to be hell out of fun it's an empowerment party and we're going to have a lot of uh, lemonade party going on come the, on we all love lemonade the, lemonade party the, 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 uh, Tanzila one question aapne kabhi hot and spicy ke bahar koi i mean aapne kiya the way she just went through that Aray, come on like, i keep i keep very good i keep the best go in my purse every time uh, i'm traveling abro- abroad so no, let's just change the topic no no it was it was just the way you spoke that i mean i, I was just joking about the 30 seconds it was just like aapko kya milega mutton kadai mutton beef kadai you know i think no we i take everyone very seriously man be careful next time when you tell me to cut off my wrist or something yeah yeah uh, no no we're good doing <laughs> yeah. it anyways okay so the workshop is going to be taking place in three cities yes all right uh, sasha you've got some questions yes, as well yes i have up. a few questions uh, okay you told me that you have been writing books as well yes and tell us about this book because i'm sure a lot of people who want to know ke wo kitabe what were they about and where did and they go where did they go no, no because uh, being a writer is a big thing here in pakistan of course, of and uh, uh, i would everybody would like to know what mm-hmm. kind of books have you been writing and are there any motivational books that you want to write in the future well, or something in essence kya scene hai bro oh, well uh, very very <laughs> n- nicely put the thing is that um, sasha i wrote my first book when i was 16 or uh, oh, tabhi wow. i was looked upon and i was like beta you're just in school and you're not supposed to do that and i was like that's the you're reason i'm doing that you're not supposed to do that yeah literally that? a lot of people a lot of people mm. who like really support me they just they were just apprehensive i mean okay. they apne khachate but of course um, i i really believe in god i'm someone who is very Mashallah. spiritual so yeah. i knew that uh, if if it's not hurting anybody it's for me and i have to do it so yeah. i'm very persistent because i have a lot of faith in my allah yeah. so um, i wrote the book and um, the first book was a book uh, it's it was a love story it was just a novel it you know just a 16 year old girl i mean right. come on yeah, yeah. and uh, the book got published it went in the market and it, it earned me a lot of fame and i became this tiny celebrity and all always get around it wow. i exactly know how justin bieber feels <laughs> because i've been in his shoes i know what it's like to be young and to be autographed by people and oh, that's wow. the love of pakistan that i have received so 
Later on, I wrote my second book, which was called The Perfect Situation. Mm. It was based on a Pakistani girl here in um, Pakistan, mm. and uh, okay. the book was published by Ilka Publishers, All and right. they've been very supportive of me. Mm -hmm. But now I'm trying to take on um, the idea of self-publication because right, not a yeah. lot of platforms here offer those facilities, and I want writers to publish more and more. more so why yeah, not yeah. use online platforms and make Fantastic. money, support yourself? I was so okay. Yeah. yeah, doing. So that. are you like planning to write any more motivational Absolutely. books? Absolutely, I'll be writing my. Third book, which All is right. more like an autobiography, it's called Surpassing Limits. The mm. launch has already already been taken place in are, Dubai are last November. Wow! Absolutely. Okay. Oh sure, we're going to Dubai. Yeah, man. And don't forget to bring your pen because I'll be signing your book. Oh dear! <laughs> so, yeah, yes. You can buy a pen over there. <laughs> That's fine. The pen won't <laughs> be for sale. Only the book will be for sale. <laughs> so uh, it's 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 more like a a real story about what happened because I think sometimes speaking from the non-fiction angle, yeah. we yeah. can really give better evidence of. Of inspiring somebody yeah, rather than relate. making up stories. Of course, so, of course, I can really So, I think the that. third book is going to be a real life autobiography. So, oh, I hope okay. that so, works. So, I mean, how much uh, did your writing, basically, mm -hmm. being an author, like having that experience of writing, because. Mm -hmm. I can say I even say that I'm a writer, but I write poetry. I don't think wow. I would be mm -hmm. able to say write a full feature. I can write short stories, but not a full feature novel. Mm -hmm. So, how much do you think ke, that has affected your? Your mm -hmm. workshops have been created. How mm -hmm. much do you think that has a connection between that? Well, you know, Iman, um, as you can see, I have a disability, and uh -huh. I have the disability since birth. All right. When by birth, your disability hai, and being a girl also sometimes there are some stigmas and all. Of course. So I think writing, na, it really opened my doors. It's a catharsis. And, yeah, exactly. It just Opened sure. and I could write anything. I could abuse anybody. I could praise anybody. Yeah. True that. And I felt that power inside me of my imagination. Hmm. But Alhamdulillah, Allah Taala gave me the the mind to use it for a good good cause. Sure. Otherwise, I could have written my cribs also. Yeah. But I'm very really thankful that uh, my family supported me and, and turned my head because you know disabled people can get depressed very easily. Course, it's an understood that. factor. Yeah. 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 But uh, it's it's all because of God and it's also because I keep asking for that. I want to be an asset to the society. That's hmm. my wish. That's my want. and i'll do anything for it so i'm using my writing to to to, to express, contribute yeah, to contribute to contribute i mean honestly and, yeah and it's like i'm i'm actually so inspired like on my page i'm going to mm -hmm. be like featuring you i want to like have like a little video yeah. Yeah. you know about this fact that you know what no matter how hard things get it's about positivity and it's about choice it's and about, this is about choice i mean i can end. easily pick up a sword and chop somebody's head off and yeah. I, and nobody would question me oh come on she's frustrated she's on the wheelchair justified no. hell no no i mean no. mera mera jo scene i mean this is the way i tell uh, sasha as well i'm mm -hmm. open to it i'm epileptic right so i always say listen I define my condition. My condition doesn't define me. It's absolutely, no very doubt. well put. So mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like a. भाई मैं अगर मुझे हो जाते हैं. No, I mean I am the person who I am, mm -hmm. and that is the person that I have to be. Okay, so now we are. Mission Desi, sponsored by. There's no better way to fly. Fly Emirates. Hello tomorrow. And. Mora Naga PF3, mom's cup best friend. Send in your song requests on nine one nine one on Generation Desi with Iman and Sasha. Hey guys and we are back you're tuned into Radio 1 FM 91 my name is Iman and with me is uh, Sasha and uh, the show is called Generation Desi which is a required show but today we've got some special guests in the house right now all right we just played a dedication from Valid to Tanzila which Tanzila. all right which is a fantastic fantastic track beautiful track from right. the past yes from and the past. I can't help thanking you <laughs> that's sweet <laughs> all right so and now now we shall have a uh, vakar also he's also in the studio and uh, well vakar tell us something about your role in this entire project well uh, first of all i like to thank you hmm. for calling us over here and the uh, second most important thing is which you asked me is uh, what are my job you know yeah exactly first of all um, empowering a woman hmm. is a main thing yeah all right okay empowering a lady which is disabled yeah okay? and The first thing that comes into my mind is what I have at my home. All right, I have a sister which is mentally disabled. Mm -hmm. So I really want to do something for her. Mm -hmm. All right, and this is the one platform which I am working right now right. to learn the things to empower the both the ladies which are on my left and right side. True that. You know? That is what I am doing. And lemonade. Speaking of the lemonade, 
सो आई एम द वन विच इज मैनेजिंग एवरी थिंग ओवर देर तो बेसिकली लेमन लेमनेट स्टॉल आपका है आपका है You can see that. You can see that. Yeah. Yeah. You can see that. 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 You